Let's make an Easter card with the foil quill and the Scan and Cut DX. Hi, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. I am in Brother Canvas Workspace right now, and I'm going to open uh, the SVG file I'm going to use for this project. So I'm going to go to the left-hand toolbar, click on this SVG icon, and then I'm going to open this Easter Bunny Wreath that is a download from uh, Design Bundles, and I'll link that in the video description if you're interested in it. So it just gives me this warning saying it's automatically resized to fit. And then when you look at it, I want to point out that it looks kind of weird. <laughs> um, you know, you've got these sort of weird black lines, the rabbit looks kind of odd, the eggs are sort of strange looking, and it just doesn't really look right. And this is something that can happen, especially when you import line drawings into Brother Canvas. So here's how you fix it. You go over to the uh, toolbar on the right and you click, well actually first let's click and drag to select everything and then you want to go over to the prop, the properties panel on the right hand toolbar which looks like a uh, paintbrush and under color you'll see fill and line and you might notice right now line is transparent there's nothing and then fill is black so what we're going to do is click on the line color box brings up the little box with all the choices and we're going to switch from transparent to black and hit OK. And then in the fill box we're going to do the exact opposite. So we're going to go from black to transparent and hit OK. And now you will notice <laughs> that it looks much better. Looks like a, more like a line drawing which is what we want for our foiling project. So the second thing I need to do is resize this because it's really huge and I want to put it on a card. So I am going to go over back over here to the right toolbar and hit the edit tab. And you'll see here that the width is 1.6 or 11.67 and the height is 11.62. Well, that's way too big. So I'm going to make sure that my maintain aspect ratio box has a check mark in it, meaning that if I change one dimension, it's going to change proportionally to the other, and I'm going to change it to 3.5. And so now that's a much better looking size for a card. And I did drag it down a little bit because I like to have some space around it when I put it on the mat into the machine just because of how we have to position the foil and things like that. So theoretically, you could foil the entire design but I don't really want to do that. I want to color the eggs and foil the rest of it. So I want the machine to draw the eggs and then in order to foil everything else, we also have to set that to draw. So I'm going to again click and drag to select everything and you have, there are two ways you can do this. If you go into the layers panel over here on the right, which looks like a stack of papers, you will notice that every single layer has this little icon next to it that looks like a knife blade. And when I roll over it, you can see it says cut. Well, we don't want to do that. We want to draw. So you can click on the little knife blade and then change it to draw. And you can do that for each layer and that will take care of it. However, there is an easier way to do this, which is go back to the properties tab. And under operation, we're going to click on the drop down menu and we're going to just click draw. And then if we go back to the layers panel, you'll notice everything has been changed to draw. So that makes everything a lot easier to deal with. So unfortunately, the brother scan and cut, if, if your operation is the same for all layers, it can't differentiate between like drawing with the foiling tool and drawing with a pen. So there's no way to tell it that that's two different steps. So what we have to do is hide the elements that we don't want the machine to draw first. So I'm going to hide the eggs and because I want to do the foiling first. So if we go over here, you'll see that the eggs are nicely all in one, one layer. And I'm going to toggle the visibility. So if I, if I roll over this little eye icon that's on all of them, and click on it, you'll notice that the eggs disappear and the eye disappears. So that means those are hidden shapes. So the machine won't even see those to do anything with them. And now again, I'm going to click and drag to select everything. 
and then I'm going to right click over here and hit group. And that puts everything else into one group. And that's what we want. Because I'm going to I can warn you that when I transfer this over to the machine, I'm going to scan my uh, mat in to make sure that I have the design on the foil. And if you don't have it correctly positioned on the foil, it's really difficult to move every single one of these layers over, like around to get it just exactly back where it was. So if you group them all together beforehand, then you can just move them all as one shape and that makes it a lot easier. Okay, so that's it for the steps for foiling. Now we're gonna just um, export this over to the machine. So I'm gonna go up here to in the upper left and hit File, Export Transfer FCM File. It's going to give me the warning that objects that have been set as hidden will, are not available to export and that's like that's what we did with the eggs and that's exactly right we don't want the eggs exported and now I'm going to transfer the file via the internet because I have my scan and cut set up to the a wireless network if you were going to uh, export it to a thumb drive you would use this file folder uh, choice and then if you have your scan and cut hooked up to your computer via a USB cable then you would use this choice so I'm going to just click that one. It says the registered machine is ready to download the transfer file. We'll hit OK. And now let's go over to the machine and foil this design. All right, I'm over at the machine. And I wanted to kind of go over what you get when you purchase the foil quill. Now, as of my posting date, which is um, early March 2021, the foil quill for machine, for the electronic cutters is on clearance at scrapbook.com for a really for about half price. So that's that's pretty good. So what you get with the with the foil quills kit is you get three tips. So this is the fine point, this is the medium point, and then this is the bold. And you can kind of tell by looking at them. But there's no way to identify them on the actual quill, but you can tell when you look at them what the size is. So each one comes with a K or like a USB cord that you then need to hook to a USB power source. So I'm going to use my little portable power pack here. Sometimes you can hook it into the machine, but not always. So that the, the little instruction book that you get with it will tell you that it, they may or may not work on, in a USB port on your machine. So that's something you'd have to check. The point of the power pack is that it heats it up and that's what transfers the foil is the heat on the tip. So you do need heat transfer or heat transfer foil which comes with the kit too. You usually get like a little sample pack. And then there's this heat shield which is designed to go under the tip of the foil quill itself while it's heating in your machine. It's because the Scan and Cut DX has a really bulky uh, carriage I don't have a, I can't really see where to put this. So instead of heating it up while it's sitting in the carriage, I heat it separately. I heat it first and then I put it in the adapter, which is this guy that will come with it as well. You also get an adapter for the Silhouette machine Cameo, the Cricut, and then the Sizzix machine. So you get all of the adapters in the kit. So the one you want to use for the Brother Scanning Kit is the B for Brother. And so I heat my, my quill up over here on this silicone mat. That's totally separate. That's just a little accessory I have on my own. So I heat it up that way. Then I put it in the um, adapter. <laughs> they just screw in. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then put do my foiling. All right, so let's look at, let's get closer on the machine to see the design. All right, so I'm on my home screen and I'm gonna just hit retrieve data. And then I'm going to pick the wireless internet because that's the way I sent it. 
and there is the design. You can see it ready to go. I'm gonna, it looks good. And so now let's get the mat ready with the foil and I'm gonna heat up the quill and we'll go, we'll move to our next step. Okay, to start off with, I'm gonna install, I'm gonna use the, what's called the standard tip. It's like the medium sized tip. It's the green one. I'm gonna install it into the adapter and it just screws on. And I find it easier to hold the quill and then screw the adapter onto it. So it's ready to go. You know, you know, don't over tighten it, but you know, tighten it in there so it's solid. Then I'm going to hook my USB cord into the power bank and you'll see that a light comes on. Hopefully you can tell that. Yeah. And then I'm just going to set this on my silicone mat and it needs to heat up for five minutes. And while I'm, while that's heating, I'm going to deal with my cardstock and my foil and my mat. So I have my little sample pack here of gold foil and I have a piece of cardstock that's cut to four and a quarter by, oh, I don't know, like eight and a half roughly. And you can see some parts of it are a little bit chewed up. Now a couple things about the foil quill that you need to keep in mind. You need to get the foil fairly, like as flat as you can get it on the, on the cardstock or whatever you're going to foil onto. And so if they provide in the pack comes this little um, roll of washi tape. And you know, you can use whatever washi tape you want or not low tack tape. My only advice would be to make sure that you don't use anything that's gonna tear your cardstock. So you can see I've overlapped the foil a bit and then I've gone over the side of the cardstock. And now I'm going to I'm gonna, this is like my washi tape I've used in the past. And now I'm gonna grab the bottom end and pull it as taut as I can and then press it down. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the sides. All right, so we've got it pretty taut there. And now I've got just a standard grip mat and I am going to place this at one inch down and one inch over. And now I'm going to just load the mat. All right, and now I'm gonna install the quill. So I'm gonna lift up the hinge, pull out the blade, and then I'm gonna place this so that the B is facing forward and this tab back here is, is flat against the back. Now it is gonna be off to the right and that's correct. So you just kind of push it down till it goes all the way against the black top here and then you can lock the hinge back down. And I'm gonna move the power bank up above so that it doesn't get in the way of the cord. Now, if you remember, the design is here, so I'm gonna scan the mat because I wanna make sure that I have the design going on the foil, so I'm gonna do that first. It might be a little bit hard to tell, but you can see how this flower right here is overlapping the washi tape, and I don't want that. So I'm going to have to bump the design down to get it within the, within the foil. So to do that, I'm going to hit edit. It selects the entire image because we grouped it before we sent it over. So that's really important because otherwise you're going to wind up with 8 million <laughs> layers to have to move. And I'm going to hit uh, the four arrows. And then I'm going to zoom in so I can really see this. So at 200, I'm gonna to go to 400. So now hopefully you can really see where it's overlapping. So I'm gonna go just push this down by hitting the arrow keys down. Okay, and 
then I'm gonna bump this little arrow down so I can see it better. And this is getting real close to me over here, so I'm gonna bump it over a little bit. All right, that looks good to me, so I'm gonna hit OK. Okay. Okay, well done. And then now, one more OK. <laughs> and it's gonna ask me to please select, and I'm gonna say draw. All right, then I'm gonna hit start. Alright, so I do not want to unload my mat. I am going to take the foil quill out by lifting up the hinge there. Just moving it back over here to my silicone mat. And now I'm going to take off the washi tape. Oh, it looks really good. Alright, so that is the gold foil design. Alright, so the next step is to draw the Easter eggs. So I'm going to go back over to the software. This concludes part one of this tutorial. Part two is available right on this screen, it will, and in it we will look at the universal pen holder, drawing with the scanning cup machine, and complete the card. If you got something out of the video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks, have a great day.